Good morning. I just made myself a nice bit of porridge. Chocolate and banana porridge this morning. I've got some uh, cacao powder and I just mix that in and it just makes like a real nice, rich, chocolatey porridge. Bit of uh, honey to sweeten it and yeah, it's just lovely. Mm. Real nice cosy breakfast for a chilly morning. I've um, not got too much on this morning. I'm just going to sort out um, some radio show bits and I've got a friend that I'm catching up with. And then um, this afternoon I'm going to go to a meditation sound bath where you um, you lay down, you just chill right out and um, somebody plays those like singing bowls and you have like the gong and it's just, oh it's amazing, it's so relaxing, it's just yeah, really lovely experience. So I'm going to um, yeah, go and uh, have a very chilled out Sunday today. Good morning. I had such a lovely day yesterday. Oh, sorry. I don't know if the camera's all that straight. Probably not. <laughs> Hopefully that's better. Um, yeah, I had a wonderful day yesterday. So nice to just catch up with some good friends. And um, the sound bath that I went to is just, oh, it was amazing. It's like sound relaxation, if you don't know what a sound bath is. It's just, it's just beautiful. You just get to listen to like the most relaxed music and it really just... Yeah, it just sends you away. It's just it's just absolutely lovely. And we had some like mugs of cacao beforehand. I'm just having a little mug of cacao now because I really fancied it. If you don't know what cacao is, it's um it's basically the same as cocoa powder except um cocoa powder's been like heat treated whereas cacao hasn't, so it's got all of like the goodness still in it, so it's like a lot better for you and it's like I find it a lot richer in flavour. Um, yeah, it's just it's just really nice. So I just sort of mix that with a bit of milk and honey, a little bit of cinnamon, and also put in my collagen. Uh, I use that one. I've just finished the bag. It's like a hunter gather one. I've got another bag with me, but I did think I should order some more of this because I just find it really beneficial for my joints where I've got bad joints. It's just I try and do everything I can to just <laughs> give them give them some goodness. So I like to get um, collagen in and some oily fish. Bone broth is another way of getting a good amount of collagen in as well. So, so yeah, I've just got my nice collagen cacao, and I'm just sort of sat here having a bit of a bit of a lazy, chilled out morning, really, um, because I've got a uh, got a late night tonight. Off to go and see Dinosaur Junior. I'm so so excited about this. Dinosaur Junior are one of my favourite bands. If you don't know who Dinosaur Junior is, just go check them out. Um, go check them out. Absolutely love Dinosaur Junior. Um, and it's their like 30th um, anniversary of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, of um, one of their albums. So they're just going to be playing a lot of tracks off of that. And um, one of my favourite Dino songs is on that track, um, on that album called um, I Ain't Saying, or Ain't Saying. Oh, God, look, I should know this as it's my favourite song, but I'm not the best at remembering like track names or even album names. <laughs> but it's... Um, I'm sure the album's Where You've Been, and I'm sure it's Ain't Saying. I'm sure it is that. But yeah, they're just absolutely a cracking, cracking band. So I'm just so excited to go see them tonight. And to be honest, I've got a whole, I've got an amazing week this week. I'm seeing Dinosaur Junior um, tonight. Then I'm going to go watch Corey Taylor tomorrow. And then I've got The Streets on Thursday. So I've got like three gigs lined up. It's, it's a corker of a week. So I'm just taking it a bit steady because... Um, yeah, usually I'm like early to bed and there's just be there'll be a bit of standing at the gigs and that. So I'm just sort of like trying to just stay off my feet, preserve some energy and preserve my leg legs a bit. So, um, so yeah, I can have a good little dance and um, sort of like, yeah, groove about to the music later on. So, yeah, and I've, um, I'm really pleased with where I parked up the last couple of nights. Um, I tend to just sort of like, if I know a rough area of where I'm going, I just look on Google Maps and just see see where it looks like a good spot or I just sort of like trust my intuition and just go with that um I found a good space where it's like a quiet road opposite a pub and a church um tend to find churchyards pretty pretty good really because um not all of them but usually there's a little bit of parking with churches um if there's a graveyard lovely and peaceful 
Um, the dead really don't bother you. Um, neither do the living, actually, in graveyards. <laughs> people tend to keep themselves to themselves, or if they are there, they're just, you know, people are very, like, polite, you know. Um, so I, I've just always liked graveyards. They're not something that sort of scares me. I just find them really peaceful, nice places to hang out. And um, I love looking at all the, the tombstones and seeing the different names and the different ages that people have lived and when they died and, and the quotes as well. People have these really beautiful quotes um, engraved on their tombstones. So just sort of like like look, looking at those and just sort of thinking about life and death, really. Um, it's a nice place to just sort of meditate on those two things. Um, and yeah, good good place to, to park up for the night. Um, and I also, fi also find as well with... Um, with churches not all of them but a lot of them are open um when it's nice they're just it's nice just i like i like the, the buildings and the architecture i just like having a little walk about them um but i always feel like with you know churches temples that sort of thing if you're a traveler through life i feel like the doors should be open and you should be welcome there um you know if it's a true house of god i feel like all should be welcome so as i'm a traveler through life I feel like I should be able to stop in a churchyard and it not be a problem, you know. If you've got a church or a temple and you ain't offering the passing traveller, the passing weary traveller a little respite, then, um, you know, maybe you should really think about what you're doing <laughs> and uh, and not do it because, uh, you know, isn't that what these sacred buildings are for, you know, to offer people a little space when they need it? So, so yeah, they're just my thoughts anyway. Um, feel free to disagree with them. <clears throat> so um, I was very pleased anyway with this church because um, it was open. They even had a bit of central heating on, which was nice. Um, and uh, yeah, I had a little walk about and um, yeah, just looked at some of the stained glass and that. And it was really nice because when I was sitting sitting in one of the pews, um, I watched this little mouse just sort of like scurry about doing his thing. And um, yeah, it just it really just made me smile. This little mouse in in the church and. Um, I wrote a little, uh, little sort of poem about it. I posted that on my Instagram, so you can read it there. Um, so yeah, I just, um, I like that. I just find that churches and temples, they're just nice places, you know, to just sit and sit and meditate, or sit and do a bit of writing, or just, you know, it's like I said, they, you know, they're quiet, peaceful places where usually you don't get bothered, you know. So yeah, I like, I like stopping there. So um. So yeah, I'm just going to finish on mug of cacao, just um, do a bit of chilling really, and then I'm going to head head up to where the gig is for tonight. I think it's about like an hour, hour and a half from here. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's it's a really short distance, but it's London, remember, so even if it's like a mile down the road, you're looking at a considerable amount of time to actually get there. So um, so yeah, I'm just going to have, have my cacao and then sort of make a mosey on the road and um, yeah, see where we end up parked up tonight. I'm just here cooking myself up a bit of dinner, having um, spud sprouts and salmon again, mainly just to uh, use up my leftovers, but also because a lot of the time I do eat, eat the same thing like a few days on the truck, partly because if it's my favourite dinners, I'm happy to eat them. And also, sometimes I've just got a real craving for certain foods, so um, yeah, I'm just really fancying potatoes and salmon at the minute. Also going to have a little egg in there this evening because I just fancy, uh, fancy a little egg too. So yeah, I'm all parked up for the evening, found myself a good little spot, had a lovely drive through London. I know, I was surprised, honestly. I found London easier to drive through than Bristol. Bristol just stressed me out the other day. I just got, got in the right pickle when I was trying to find my way through Bristol. So um, I don't know if it's that London's better laid out or if it's that um, you ain't going fast in London, you know, you're lucky if you get to 30 miles an hour and a lot of places now the speed limit's 20. Um, so I just found that I just had time to look at the sat-nav, look at the road markings and the road signs and the various cameras for, you know, not being in certain lanes and not going over certain speeds. So, yeah, it was it was really leisurely. It was, um, it was, it was really good. I found my way with ease. I got to just sort of, you know taking the uh, pass in sights and the people and yeah I, I really really enjoyed it um didn't even get beeped at either 
you know. Um, a lot of times in the city, you know, you do get beeped at or people cutting you up because everyone's in a hurry. But no, it was um, it was a really good ride, um, really good journey. So, so yeah, I was rather rather surprised and rather pleased. And um, yeah, I found the venue this evening, so I know where I'm going in a little bit. So I just thought I'd do myself a little bit of grub. I need to turn down the heat on my pan because that's getting a little bit smoky and before you know it that smoke alarm will be going off again. <laughs> but yeah, this is such a great little dinner, especially you know when you've already got the um the potatoes cooked and you've got the salmon already cooked, you know, it's just a matter of minutes and um and you're eating dinner which is lovely. Always keep my kitchen well handy because, um, you know, it's handy, keep it handy. <laughs> we go dinner's done i'm just gonna um dish that up and um tuck in i don't always like you know sometimes i um just sort of like scramble the egg up into the dinner especially i'm having a dinner like this where it's a bit sort of like what i'd call a hash you know like a <laughs> smashed all together um partly because then the egg just cooks real quick as then as well so yeah lovely Good morning, Dinosaur Junior were fucking fantastic last night. Also, really rated their support act, man on man. They were just, it was they were just fantastic. They're a couple of queers and they just did some really, really, just really gay songs. And when I say gay songs, I really mean just like happy, upbeat. Just you just wanted to dance. I really enjoyed them immensely. Um, so yeah, I'm going to check them out a bit, a bit more because um, yeah, just really liked what they were doing and. They um, haven't been together as a band for very long. They just started in the pandemic and just were having some hard times and they just wanted to do something to sort of lighten the mood a bit. And um, you really get that from the music because it was just really like, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy listening to this. So it was great. Um, I'm just having a bit of breakfast. Pick myself up some nice whole goat milk. There's a really good um, shop where I'm staying, parked up, and, um, just down the road a bit. It's like a Tesco Express, but it's not Tesco. It's like a health food shop, but not like, you know, a vegan health food shop. I mean, they have got vegan stuff in there, but just like really wholesome, really good food, really damn fine chocolate. Grab myself a bit of that. Um, so yeah, I was able to get some goat milk, which was, which was great. Um, so yeah, just having a bit of grub and then I'm going to um, go catch up with a shaman and then um, record a radio show. Um, I'm really excited about doing this radio show because um, I do a few radio shows, like um, a one which is sort of like just the tunes that have been banging around on my stereo all week and I tell people about my little travels and what I've been up to. And then I do a Sunday show, which is a bit more of a chilled out affair. I read out some of my poetry and just play chilled, chilled tunes. Um, and maybe share a recipe or two to tell people about all the nice food I've been eating. Um, and then I do another one called Songs of Your Life where I interview people and we just sort of, we talk about the songs of their lives, the songs that they've loved and just, yeah, life, death, healing, just whatever comes up. And I really love those conversations because I just love talking to people about life and music and, and that. So... So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to sort of do more of these, but I always get a bit nervous sort of like asking people to do them, but I just thought, oh, it's like I've just got to get past and, you know, just ask people to, to do them because they're just, I just really enjoy doing them. So, so I'm really excited. I've got a couple of those this week. So 
so that'd be really good um so yeah i've got a little drive across london to get to where i'm going but i feel pretty pretty chilled about it to be honest for breakfast i just got some granola and um banana it's really funny when i first moved into my van i had a big box of cooking stuff like a couple of plates a couple of bowls just not the whole kitchen obviously because I did downsize my kitchen to one box but I put all this stuff with me and then I was just like I don't really need a bowl because I've got a little saucepan <clears throat> a little saucepan works fantastic as a little bowl so it's funny I was thinking last night I feel like I could probably cut down what's in my van by maybe not half but maybe like a good third I reckon um, so I have been thinking about that again, maybe another Cornwall trips in order to go drop off some more stuff. Especially because I'm thinking about, uh, you know, going to Europe next year and sort of formulating a bit of a loose sort of plan for that. And <clears throat> I just don't want to take extra stuff that I don't need, you know, and I just sort of look about me. And even though I haven't got a huge amount in my van, I'm still thinking like, I've got too much in here, I just don't need it. seriously I mean I haven't the one plate that I've got with me I haven't even used it because I've just been eating on my chopping board or you know straight from the frying pan <laughs> there it's funny all this stuff that we have but we don't really need it do we Right, I'm going to um, finish chowing down my breakfast. Oh, I forgot to say, I parked up last night next to a leisure centre. Leisure centres are great places to park next to because, one, usually there is a bit of parking around there. Two, they're open from like half six till like ten at night, a lot of them. Maybe a little different Sunday weekends, but they're open long hours. They've got toilets, they've got sinks, they've got water and you can swim sauna and gym um i didn't didn't sauna i missed a little time slot for that and i didn't gym but i did do a good few lengths of swimming and um yeah feeling good for that this morning so it was great i got to go into the leisure center for like eight o'clock had a poo did a swim <laughs> got showered so i'm all nice and um yeah sparkly clean so yeah leisure centers are great great places and also libraries libraries are great because again they've got toilet facilities filled with books and um they're open they're open really good hours especially a lot a lot i'm um, like in the cities and um, the one around the corner from here they're open till like eight o'clock at night so so yeah libraries and leisure centers check them out